Hi Taurus, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for March 2020. My voice is still a little bit wonky, but I think the worst has passed through. So I've got my lozenges, I'm prepared in case. In fact, I've got one in right now, I hope it doesn't bother anybody. I'm not gonna make, you know, the, the sounds or anything, but oh, okay, anyway, hi. <laughs> um, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this may resonate as yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Capricorn, not Capricorn, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, there you are. They aren't telling you, whoopsie, Taurus. Taurus, they aren't telling you. Page of Cups, okay. Empress, ooh, Emperor, okay. Nine of Cups, nice. Six of Swords, whoopsie. King of Cups. Page of Wands. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles, okay. So this is someone that's wanting to park amicably, but they're kind of not, I don't, I feel like they're not feeling it anymore. Um, that there's more of like a, a familial love rather than a romantic love here. Hmm. Okay, so if you're confused, don't be. This is somewhat, the, what they're not telling you is that they don't feel the same anymore. Um, for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, the indecision, that kind of gray area is buying them time to kind of soften or lessen the blow. We've got the Five of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. This is someone that just is not wanting um, to, to inflame or have any drama. But And so it's like they're trying to let things down easy. Unless I'm completely mistaken, which I doesn't feel like I am. Kind of came quick though. I haven't even pulled the little ones yet. They're, are they waiting... That confusion that I mentioned, are they wait, Are they kind of waiting for you to, to end things? Are they kind of just removing them? Are they staying just out of reach of you? Are they, are they distancing themselves and they want you to do the cutoff? I think this might be somebody that's kind of, there is that confusion because you're like, what's going on? Why aren't you? And they're like, no, everything's fine. It's not. They're just, it's one of those things where someone withdraws and then the partner freaks out and goes, well, if this is the way it's going to be, then I want to end things. And they're like, wow, that's a shame. Okay. But that's what they wanted all along. They wanted, they just don't want to be the bad person. They want you to do it. What's this Empress about? This could be Aries or Taurus here. And we have Aries here, Pisces and okay. Good riddance though. Honestly, I have the decency after what we've been through, I have the decency to say it to my face. Like, look, I'm just not feeling it want to part friends, but then that doesn't happen, does it? They say that and then everybody just ends up unfollowing. Nobody visits, nobody, you know. What's this Empress about for Taurus? Eight of Pentacles. What's this Emperor about? What's this Emperor about? Knight of Cups. All right, what's this Six of Swords? This six of swords about the magician. Is this someone wanting to? Mm. Are they leaving someone else to be with you or are they leaving you to be with someone else? What's this nine of cups about for Taurus? What's this nine of cups? Strength, okay. It's this king of cups. This could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. That could be Scorpio, Leo. This is King of Cups for Taurus. Ah, speedy exit. It's this Page of Wands. Don't be confused, Taurus. This isn't someone that just wanted a break to figure out how they feel. Um, this is someone, you know, that, that just kind of wants to 
work on themselves and get back to center and, and figure out a way to, they, no, this is someone saying all that, but they just, they want a disconnection. They want to go pursue, they, they either just met someone or they're ready for a change and they want to go pursue whatever that is. They're trying to let, um, they're trying to do this breakup easily. They're trying to let you down easily. They don't want any drama. One of two things, they, they either want to, you know, I just need this for now, which is going to turn into permanent, or they're withdrawing in hopes that you'll freak out and end things, and it lets them, well, you know, Taurus broke up with me, so I'm just going to make the most of it and follow my bliss, I, which, you know, I meant that to be sarcastic, because if, if that's what they wanted, just have the stones to say it. Simple as that. We're big people. We can take it. It's just five of pentacles. I'm not transferring here. I just, I don't, cowardice is hard because it does, it's not proactive. You know what I mean? It's five of pentacles. Yeah. Temperance. That could be Sagittarius. So this is, this is someone saying, I just need a break. Again, what I've said before, and it's really going to be permanent. They just don't want the drama. Um, for some of you, this could be because they're, they've already started something with someone else or they just met someone that has, you know, they feel like, oh, I want to go pursue that. Um, yeah. And the, the, this is somebody that it, you've been on kind of the, this isn't out of the blue, like everything was fine with you two and then all of a sudden they met someone else the next day. This isn't that. You two have been having a, a go of it or kind of a tough time for a while now. And this new situation presenting itself is just like a, a, a welcome reprieve for them. It just, you know, the grass is greener, right? So, you know, Taurus, I want to take this time to work on some things and I just need to figure out how to move on or how to, mm, they already have. Out, out. Bye-bye, shoo. It's this Nine of Cups. Good. Ace of Wands. The thing is that, you know, there is... A place for decorum and if this is someone that's just trying to kind of be vague for the purposes of not hurting you and saying you know what, I'm just not feeling it anymore I'd rather we end here and maybe we can still be friends in time or whatnot that's fair but this is someone who already has something started um, with someone else and they have no intention of keeping in touch or being friends or anything like that and this is about you staying under yourself this is gonna take some time for you but um, there is another one coming in for you also. So perhaps you know about it. Um, it could be very recently or within the next four weeks, but you've got another romantic opportunity coming in as well. It's not gonna be, um, for the Tauruses I'm reading for, it's not gonna be anything long lasting, but it's gonna be something that will give you perspective and it's gonna be something that keeps you busy and keeps you distracted while you're kind of moving through this and figuring out what's what. This isn't gonna be like a, a terribly emotional time for you, um, you know, as far as this ending, because you've kind of been dealing with it for a while, but this new thing coming in is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna give you some perspective and it's gonna get you further distance from the, um, the issue or whatever's going on with your person that they just don't feel like they can be openly upfront with you about it. All right. It, this could very well be that to consider that if you're confiding in someone, um, this could be that the person you're confiding in kind of turns out to be not only a good ally, but is there might be a little romantic interlude, just saying, or they're the, the kind of the gateway to introducing you to someone else who could be like a romantic, um, a very uh, a fun little romantic time for you. That was for Taurus. You're, you're, and for the Tauruses that I'm reading for, you're not looking to be rescued or transplanted. You don't want it to be more than it is, but you welcome the distraction. You're like, well, you know, because you're just, this is like, meh. It's, it's kind of annoying. It's like, why couldn't you just, and I don't like that the, it'd be very easy for them to resolve the confusion um, because it feels like it, a lot has been left up for you to figure out or intuit or interpret. And it's like, this is very simple. This person just wants to move on. What else for you? Taurus. Oopsie. I did that one. Okay, well, there was 10 of cups kind of come out, so I'm going to put that there. But I had the cards turned the wrong way. <laughs> I had them the other way. All right. So that's, yes. 
Delphine, this is that's done per se. This has run its course. Um, there's that new one coming in though. So just saying. Not for nothing. This could also be you just met someone that's got to close something out with someone else. Um, and they're like, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And if that's the case, if you're on the other side of whatever that was, you know, that someone leaving and finding something new and then all of a sudden this is actually your person that you just met that I said someone's coming. They're already here and this is that person. Uh, they mean it. They'll be back in a minute. They just, they got to go figure this out. They got to resolve it, but they'll be back because their attention now would be focused on you. And it's a happy time. That's for Taurus. <laughs> Page of Wands. Could be, could be. This could be you've already met this person that's going to be a very happy distraction. Um, it's coming in quick though. So your person goes off to find somebody else and either this person's coming in for you like post haste if they haven't already. What else for Taurus? The sun. Good. Um, okay, hold on a minute. That's for Taurus. Last one for Taurus. This is a time for you to understand. That's why, yes, good. Okay, so we got the, the strength card here. We got the sun and we this could be Leo and the four of swords. This right here is a time for you to pull back and let things be illuminated. You're going to be finding out more. So you're going to kind of be dealing with this new person as much as you want to be. It'll be your call. But um, in the next about six weeks, you're going to be finding out more and more about the person you're dealing with or have dealt with that there was kind of this confusion back and forth and they kind of wanted you to make the decision because you're going to find out that there's, um, they probably are either having, they're moving quite quick with this new person. Um, they might even have moved in with them, but they, you're going to find out that this was probably underway before you suspected it was, or this wasn't just recent. You two have been on the decline and they met this person and they're up and running now. And they, they kind of have been on the down low. Um, probably about two or three months before you two have officially ended. So that's something else that you're going to find out for the Taurus. I mean, there's a possibility you could find that out for the Tauruses I'm reading for. And it's, it's going to be nice to have this person distracting you just because that's, it's going to, there's going to be a stutter step. That's, that's not going to be fun to find out about. And it's going to be a time of patience and letting things be illuminated. Um, kind of just sitting and taking a break and being patient with yourself, being kind to yourself, taking it easy and, and not investing in this situation mentally, emotionally anymore. You've got somebody else new that would like your attention and like to show you some fun. And that's where your focus needs to be. Not that you're ready to go heavy duty or anything, but it'll mitigate a lot of the frustration and sadness that you might feel when you find out these things about in the next coming weeks about your person. Because they're not telling you the whole story, obviously. What else for Taurus? Mm-hmm. Listen for a sword. Listen to what, um, listen to your intuition, most importantly, because you're going to, there's going to be understanding and things will be quite <laughs> illuminated. But there's also going to be, you, this is you paying attention to the signs, you seeing things for what they are. And part of that is the intuitive, intuitive counterpart. When you just see something and all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's what was going on. Oh, I knew it. That's what this is. So th this is also, um, I can't remember the quote and I don't want to say it incorrectly, but it's about when you think, when someone is kind of, when you get that sense that someone's doing something so that you'll do it, like they're kind of like wanting you to make the final decision. It's not about, oh, that person's a coward. It's not that, but, oh, this is someone who doesn't, is not going to be honorable. Believe that. Have that be like one of the definitive tenets that you know and that you hold true about this situation with this person. Because that means they're not trustworthy and that you have to rely more than ever onto yourself and or rely on yourself more than ever. Um, listening to your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, it's like things don't make sense. Why are you, what are you not telling? Don't waste your time trying to figure out what they're not telling you. Rather, look at the fact that this person is, when the going gets tough, when things are hard, this person is not honorable. They're not being straight with me. They can't tell me to my face and 
treat me like a human being and let me be able to make my own conclusions and decisions based on information presented rather than having to intuit and wonder and be confused. No. If somebody's not honorable, don't spend your time trying to figure out why or what they're not telling you. Rather, listen to the fact that, oh, this is who they are. This is someone who's not honest. I will not waste my time with you. So listen to who they're presenting themselves to be. Listen to that. Take them at face value. See them for what they are from how they present themselves. Not like, well, they're a good person. And I'm not projecting. I'm just saying what's here is you've given this person plenty of benefit of the doubt. You've been patient. You've been, you cut them some slack. You've given them plenty of time. You've honored their wishes and they still can't. And it's like, that's what you need to listen to. When they show you who they are, believe them. I cannot remember who said that. I think it was Dr. Maya Angelou. And I hope I said it correctly. Pardon if I didn't, but that she, she was not wrong. <laughs> Very wise words. What else for Taurus? Oof. Lovers, don't make that commitment. Don't make that choice. Lovers are first. Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Queen of Swords, Libra. Good, get gone. No, this is this is a union no longer unified. Um, this is not a commitment you want to honor or keep investing in. Time to make the tough decisions. But oh, look, you have a nice distraction. Yay. Um, but this is run its course. The next six to eight weeks are going to be sort of realizing that and getting perspective and letting things wash, wash over you. And this is going to be an intuitive time, a time for you to listen when you realize something um, you'll, you'll have this sense of reckoning like, oh, that's what the, I knew it or that sort of thing. So it is, it is time. This has run its course. You both get to, you are both free now to do what you both want to do. I wish it wasn't, hadn't taken so long, but part of that is because you're a good partner and you want to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Good for you. And you did. And now it's time to move on and go have some fun and have the load be lightened. Okay. Taurus, thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful and I hope you don't waste any more time on this. It's run its course. You did your best and it is now time for you to go in a different direction. All right, because they are. You keep your head up. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Take care.